Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture we are going to talk about molar hint and media. In the previous video lecture if you guys remember we talked about the Macon key agar and before that we talked about the neutron agar and we also talked the culture media as well. If you miss this video lecture so go back to my channel and watch this video. Now today in this video we are going to talk about molar Hinton media which is available in the form of broth as well as in the form of agar. Okay. So let's talk the video that what is actually molar Hinton media. Okay now what is molar Hinton media? Molar Hinton media is actually the type of culture media which is specially used for antibiotic susceptibility profiling as you can see okay and it is a protein free medium means that the comp if we see the composition of this media protein is not present moreover this media was discovered by two scientists named Moller and Hinton in 1941 and they used this media for the isolation of Nigeria species. Okay, now let's talk the uses. Moller Hinton media is actually used for the antibiotic profiling, it is used to check the antibiotic profiling of non fastidious microorganism, means non fastidious bacteria. What is actually non fastidious bacteria or microorganisms? These are actually the bacteria which I already talked that these are the bacteria which do not need a special types of nutrients for their growth. We can easily grow this type of bacteria at any type of the media. Okay, so we call it non fastidious microorganism or bacteria like E. coli, Klebsiella. So it means uh, that uh, by using this media, you can, you know, uh, grow every type of the bacteria either it's positive or gram negative bacteria so then we can use the antibiotic susceptibility profiling by using this media but we have to use the kirby boyd disk diffusion technique now let me tell you what is actually kirby boyd disk diffusion and what is actually antibiotic susceptibility profiling i hope all of you better know about the bacterial loan so if you don't know so let me a little bit explain so what actually we are going first of all using this media we add 100 microliter of bacterial suspension okay now adding 100 microliter bacterial suspension then we spread it using glass rod or culture swab so to means to using these two material any one of them so th through this the bacterial suspension will be spread over the plate after that uh, we you know when the bacterial uh, suspension spread over all the plate uh, so this is called bacterial lawn next what we do after that the antibiotic will be placed uh, as you can see now when the antibiotic is placed uh, so after 24 hour you will see the zone of inhibition means here no bacterial growth will occur here no bacterial growth will occur so at this antibiotic let's suppose the bacterial growth will occur at this antibiotic again the bacterial growth is not occur and at this antibiotic the bacterial growth is occur it means uh, the area where you see no growth it means that they, that type of the antibiotic is what sensitive means uh, effective and let's suppose this is the antibiotic but there the zone of inhibition is not formed so it means that type of the antibiotic uh, have no effect over the bacteria so bacteria are actually resistant to this type of the antibiotic this is called as antibiotic profiling sensitive means effective antibiotic and resistance means not effective antibiotic means bacteria show resistance and antibiotic kirby boy disk diffusion means when you are using antibiotic disk uh, our the uh, means uh, bacterial lawn which is made on molar Hilton plate we call that uh, Kirby boyle disk diffusion technique and again 
we use it for the Nigeria species isolation. Now what are the requirements and what are the composition of this media? Remember guys, uh, this media is actually composed of beef, beef extract which is used 2 gram for 1 liter. Okay, this media contains peptone which is used 17 gram for 1 liter. And this media also contains uh, agar which is used 15 gram for 1 liter. And obviously we use distal water 1 liter. So mix all these ingredients in 1 liter and then heat mix it, autoclave it and then use it for the antibiotic profiling purpose. These are the requirements as you can see we use, uh, uh, for this media preparation or using we use uh, spirit clamp, uh, petri plate, molar Hilton bottle which contain powder like material which is actually molar Hilton agars. Uh, we need hot plate and autoclave. Okay, this spirit lamp will provide the sterilized environment. Through petri plate, we will pour our media, and through this uh, media bottle, we can prepare our media because this bottle contains all the ingredient as we talked. Through this hot plate, we will mix the ingredient, and through this autoclave, we will sterilize the media. Now, what are the principle of this media? As we talk that this media contain what beef extract as well as peptone. These two most important in ingredient actually providing nitrogen, vitamins, carbon, amino acid, sulfur and other essential nutrients. And all these essential component especially responsible for the bacterial growth. Through this essential component the bacterial will be divided and growing. We need starch extract starch material as well. Now starch material is specially used to absorb the toxic metabolites. Okay. And after that it produces uh, and hydrolyzes what? Yield dextrose. Which is actually served as an uh, energy source. So this is all about the starch. Then we use agar as we talked in the previous that mostly agar is used for the solidifying agent. So defying agent doesn't mean that it will hurt the media. Actually, it makes the media like jelly. Then, how we prepare this media? Again, if the ingredient is present, so we don't need the bottle. And if the bottle is present, so we don't need the ingredient, ingredient which we talked in the previous slide. Okay. So let's suppose the bottle is available. So if the bottle is available, so weight 38 gram of MH media powder using weight balance and then mix it into one liter distilled water now how you will mix it you will mix it using hot plate at 50 degrees celsius after the heat mixing then autoclave this media using autoclave machine at 1 deg 121 degrees celsius for 15 minutes after autoclaving then pour this media into petri plate if it is agar so then pour it into petri plate if it is broth so then pour it into uh, test tube at a temperature if the temperature reach 50 to 60 so then you have to pour it as you can see these are what these are the antibiotic profiling of the bacteria okay this four picture actually showing the antibiotic profiling this four picture not showing the bacterial identification because we talked that it is not used for the bacterial identification it is specially used for the antibiotic profiling we can also use uh, the nutrient agar we can also use macon agar we can also use some other media as well but using these media it will not give accurate result as compared to molar hilton agar media because using molar hilton it contains the ingredient which can support the growth of every type of the bacteria that's why we can use it specially for the antibiotic profiling and these antibiotic discs as you can see it can easily be diffused uh, onto this media but it cannot be diffused uh, using macon agar or neutron agar or uh, on neutron agar it can also be diffused but not as much as on the MH media so that's why we can use it for the antibiotic profiling so still if you are using it for the uh, identification purposes uh, 
so through this media we can easily identify the stiff areas as you can see it can showing yellowish kaluni which we talked in on the neutron agar again on the neutron agar if you remember we talked that uh, pseudomonas will showing half grayish bluish grayish kaluni just like on this media the same as you can see these are you better know the kaluni of sertia okay and this is the kaluni of e coli mean the growth of e coli okay so as you can see the growth of each bacteria as well as the antibiotic sensitivity profiling now this as you can see at that particular point the bacteria is not growing okay it means that this antibiotic is effective against the staph bacteria and this antibiotic is not effective because at that particular area the bacteria still grow it means if the zone of inhibit this is called zone of inhibition if the zone of inhibition is larger it means that that type of the antibiotic is too much effective just like this one as you can see this one this one now this one antibiotic as you can see it's not too much effective so we can say that it is intermediate antibiotic just like that as well okay so this is sensitivity and resistance so this is all about the mh media I hope you guys get idea about that. Thank you so much for watching.